The Miami Dolphins have 53 players on their roster and are adding to their 16-player practice squad but something tells me they are not done. There have been whispers, ripples if you will, that surround the 2022 Miami Dolphins. It is easy to see why. Looking at the breakdown of the Dolphins' first 53-man unit under Mike McDaniel makes you wonder what might be cooking up behind the scenes, surely, something has to be, right? We don't have to dig deep to see where the needs are despite what the coach and general manager want you to believe. Miami has a depth problem at cornerback and while Greer and McDaniel say that the unit isn't a concern, it really is, Xavier Howard and Nick Needham are your starting boundary corners. Behind Howard are Keon Crossan and Cater Kohu. Behind Needham are Noah Igbinagin and Mackenzie Alexander, the problem? Alexander is hurt. Elijah Campbell will fill in that role but Miami uses him as a safety as well, with Byron Jones on PUP until at least week 4, the Dolphins are very thin at cornerback. Despite adding a player to the practice squad, Miami's best outside of Needham and Howard is Crossan, Miami may not think this is a bad situation but they are one injury away from being in a horrible one, the offensive line isn't set yet either. Consider that the Dolphins only carried 8 offensive linemen on the 53. That's a bit thin even with players on the practice squad. Mike McDaniel was asked about the line situation and he said that 8 was too low for the line. Miami isn't likely going to make a big move to add another offensive lineman but that doesn't mean they are set here either. If Miami were to make a big move, say a trade, then two positions should be looked at closer. Tight end, where Miami is carrying 5. Mike Gesicki has been a subject of trade chatter but the Dolphins have denied they have contacted anyone about him and mentioned only that two teams had called, would Miami trim their tight ends by trading Gesicki? Probably not. Teddy Bridgewater is also a candidate. While he was overshadowed by the play of Skylar Thompson, it is hard to see Miami trade him and thin the only experienced backup to Tua. In fact, one of the off-season statements made by McDaniel was that they would look for an experienced and capable backup at the position, regardless of what they may or may not do, the Dolphins have holes to fill and some thin backup situations. If there is any truth to the rumbling chatter we should know soon enough. The Miami Dolphins face a divisional rival in the New England Patriots in Week 1 on September 11 and it appears they'll have one of their best wideouts available. Jalen Waddell, who didn't play in any preseason games due to a lower body injury, is trending towards a return in 10 days' time, says head coach Mike McDaniel. Via Joe Shad, Mike McDaniel is very, very, very confident that Jalen Waddell will be good Week 1. This news will make Tua Tagovailoa happy. Waddle led the wide receiver room in 2021 with 104 receptions for 1. 0 15 yards and 6 touchdowns in his rookie year. Of course, there was a sense of familiarity between him and Tua, previously playing together at Alabama. Jalen Waddle might not be the top target for Tagovailoa after the addition of superstar Tyreek Hill, but he'll surely be number 2. Between the two of them, Miami will have one of the best wide receiver duos in the entire league. It's honestly not a huge deal Waddle hasn't played in preseason either. These games are more for backups to get reps and make an impression. Although he's yet to practice at full capacity, the fact that the second-year wideout is out there and doing drills is a good sign. The Dolphins finished with a 9-8 record last season and ultimately missed out on the playoffs. Big things are expected out of Tua in 2022 and with a number of weapons at his disposal including Jalen Waddle and Hill, the organization has definitely made his life easier. Miami has a legitimate shot of being competitive in the AFC East and could even potentially give the Buffalo Bills a run for their money.